Oh hi there, in this video we're going to be talking about why I love the Blender community, but before we start, I need to get changed. Basically, I made a promise to some creator friends that when we pass 100,000 subscribers, thank you very much by the way, that I would wear a very specific outfit in the following video, so you just need to give me a minute to get changed and I'll be back. Look, it's Unica! <laughs> I'm a unicorn! Alright, but I I've just realised that I can't hear my music anymore, so I need to put this on. There we go. Are you jealous of my horn? Oh yeah, look how pretty I am. Sorry, I just thought I needed to address the unicorn in the room before we started, so now we can get on with the video. Alright, so this is a celebration of the Blender community. It's basically the reason I've been able to have a job for the last few years, so let's talk about all the good things about it. First of all, the Blender community is accessible. It's so accessible to people, and that's mostly because Blender is free, obviously. It's not restrictive to age or experience level. It's available for everyone, meaning that creativity can flow from all corners of the world, pretty much from all industries, all personality types, and quite especially all backgrounds as well. Because there's no massive price tag behind it or weird pricing model, cough, cough, auto desk, what the hell are you doing? Anyone can jump in whether or not they come from a background that has money. And this means that young people who likely don't have access to any funds can explore possible skill sets that may one day lead to them getting a job in like the game industry or the visual effects industry or whatever. And the good thing is Blender's not just a gateway software in this regard. Like I know a lot of schools use these weird kind of temporary kid friendly softwares to teach kids like programming and stuff. But no, Blender is accessible, it's good for beginners and it's good for experienced users. It's becoming a more industry standard software, although I know that's a bit of a weird term. But anyway, in the community, this allows more for the melding of interests and better collaboration. In fact, from what I've seen in the community, sometimes it feels like the younger you are, the better you are with Blender. Which might sound strange to some people, but that's just the way it looks right now. In fact, one thing I do want to point out is that because of this accessibility and because we've got people of all different age ranges with different experience levels, there's a fair amount of insecurity in the community. Now that sounds like a bad thing until you realize where it kind of comes from. It especially spikes up in November during the whole November challenge when people have to make artwork out of just using nodes. And it's basically a big vanity exercise because it just shows how you can make artwork with mathematics and People take the opportunity to show off quite a lot. And we have situations where you can see middle-aged industry experts having a look at these amazing artworks that 16 year olds are making and just being like, how is that happening? But you know, it's okay to feel that. And I'm sure you might expect me to give you some reasons why you shouldn't feel that, but no, actually, because I feel it as well. I've seen it, these incredible young minds in the community just like having fun, playing games, doing their exams. And meanwhile, they jump into Blender and they're like, hmm, yes, by overriding the systemic Malkovich buffer with a symbiotic loop requiring the index of G minus pi divided by Danny DeVito's left butt cheek, then we can achieve world peace. But anyway, weird tangent, basically what I'm saying is the accessibility of Blender has basically allowed for such a diverse community of all age ranges, and it might not be what you expect, but the expertise level is not a linear path, it's a very spiky, noisy mess. So we have very young experts and very old experts, and I think there's something quite beautiful about that. In fact, I don't know if there is any other community quite like this. I definitely don't think there's been any software that's been able to make a community like this. I mean, well, maybe Minecraft, maybe for Photoshop, but I think Blender is definitely unique. It's informative. With the Blender community, there's such a high availability of information, there's always someone to help. It doesn't really feel like there's any industry secrets of how to use the software or who to speak to hidden behind weird paywalls. Now, of course, there's free and paid content in the Blender community, but it all feels very honest and genuine. If someone's made a paid tool or a paid educational course, there's usually a free alternative for it. You can find examples and information for pretty much every use case of the software. You know, even on my first full year of YouTube, I tried to make sure that I gave as many free files away as I could alongside the tutorials. There's a few reasons for that. One of them was to build up a big mailing list, just to be honest. But the second one was also to make sure that people had something that they could actually play with while following along with the content and I feel like that massively helps with teaching people because when they can move sliders around on a pre-made scene and actually watch how it changes in real time without having to set up everything themselves and I think it really helps with the learning process and I'm not the only one that does stuff like this because Blender has such a huge user base you can be guaranteed that if you have an issue with Blender someone else has already bumped into it and it's quite likely that you'll be able to find a solution for it online I cannot tell you how grateful I am for the Blender Stack Exchange website because that taught me a lot of stuff when I was learning how to use Python for Blender of course, I would love to be that guy that says, oh, I figured it all out myself, but come on, let's be realistic, we both know that's not true. But I'm happy to say that since I've become an expert at this, I will now be providing paid mentorship, teaching people how to use Google to solve all of their life's problems. Okay, that's a lie, I'm not actually doing that, just in case someone got excited. It's high quality! You'd think that the huge amount of educational content for Blender would mean that it's lower quality on average, but you know that's not true. I mean, have you seen the tutorials of other software? There's really not that much competition. I mean, other than Houdini, that's a bit scary, but still. The fact of the matter is that for Blender, there's just more people, so there's just more content of all quality levels. Now, that includes both the lower and the higher ends of the spectrum. And that's not just restricted behind paywalls. Like I said, for all of these levels, there's free and paid content available. There's basically just more of everything. So if you want high quality educational content for Blender from the community, you're 
you're likely to find it. And I've done what I can on this channel to try and share some of that with people. I bet there's a lot of people watching right now looking at me in a unicorn outfit going, wow, yeah, this is super high quality, love this. It helps build lives. The size of the community allows people to build businesses around it and possibly even make a whole life from it, case in point. Being able to make money from the content means that you can invest more time into making high quality content. So that means you can add to the overall quality of the community. And I think this is a nice loop that's happening with a lot of people in the Blender community. And then by providing more content for the community, you can then help to improve other people's lives. So the Blender community has helped to build my life. So now I can provide content that will help to build other people's lives. But you know, that's just thinking about it from the professional and monetary standpoint. But on the more personal level, friendships have been made in the Blender community. And I'm pretty sure families have been made as well. I don't think we can necessarily say the same for other software. Oh, that's a good business idea actually. What about a Blender dating website? Although I'm pretty sure I've heard other people say that before, but no one's actually gotten around to making it yet. Okay, that's probably not a very good idea. <sighs> Blender conference blind dates. Oh my God, yeah, we can make a reality series of it on YouTube. What could possibly go wrong? Add-ons. Blender has a huge add-on community. It's quite remarkable. It's very impressive. If Blender wasn't good enough already, the community just comes along and does a slam dunk on it. Like, hey, have all the features you were missing. <laughs> Enjoy it, lol. Given the business element, free and paid, and because the Blender community is quite generous with its giving, it encourages more add-on developers to stick around with their projects. So we end up with these huge and very popular projects like Animation Nodes, for example. That's one that pops to mind. This does lead on to generosity as well, which we'll get onto in a second. Another thing I found is that your respect points really multiply by a factor of 10 when you release a cool free add-on in the community. So I feel like I've leveled up a few times since releasing Biogen. I still haven't really decided how I want to spend my perk points yet. I'm thinking pottery, maybe pottery. I think as you can tell, I haven't put any points into comedy. That hasn't improved at all. It's generous. I've given a lot of stuff away for free. In fact, most of the stuff I've made for the Blender community has been given away for free. But still, I've noticed that when people in this community receive something that they have a high sense of value for, for free, they tend to donate. I see this more with the add-on projects because I think people understand that there's more of a skill and time investment that goes into making those when compared to just like regular artistic resources. It's just very nice to know that if you spend time making something, there are people in the community that want to make sure that you are rewarded for it. On the point of generosity, the only reason I've been able to make stuff for Blender is because because of the Blender community. The Blender community saved me. I was but a little sea turtle stranded on the beach, making my way to the ocean. And all along the way, there were very specific members of the community ready to give me a little push. But I made it to the ocean. We've been swimming for a few years now, and here we are. 100K, baby. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it to a million. Maybe, probably not. We might as well try. Maybe we can do a face reveal at 1 million. Although I might have jumped the gun on that one. Maybe a foot reveal? No wait, I already did that, but I think I took the video down. I didn't get an entry on WikiFeet Men though, which is kind of sad. I'm not famous enough for that yet. Maybe I'll give all my Blender stuff away for free at 1 million. Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble about how much I love the Blender community. And just thank you. Thank you for 100,000. I really appreciate it. It's been fantastic. Consider subscribing if you want to see more weird stuff. I can't guarantee that Unicurt will make an appearance. Look, I didn't even get to show the color on the back. Maybe ring the notification bell because that really helps. And you know what? If there are any other creators in the Blender community or just any other people in general that you really appreciate and you don't think they hear it enough, then let them know. We're trying to build the best community we possibly can. Let's keep it positive. Share the love, everyone. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I will see you next time. I know I'm going to get some really weird comments for this one, but hey, bring it on. I don't care anymore. <laughs>